Ralph, back to you. Can we now get to a definition of what a bully offer actually is? For sure. And I think it's really important for the viewers to understand that this is a concept that a lot of our buyer clients and even seller clients can struggle with for a very long period of time before something sort of clicks. And they're like, oh, I get it. This property for 899000 they really don't think it's worth that much. And it really isn't worth that much. And it's probably going to sell for $1.2 million. And so it's a process to understand it. And it can be somewhat complex trying to explain it. So I think we've done a really good job at laying out the groundwork to now start to dive into the idea of what a bully offer is. And it's, you know, another word because there's another word for it is preemptive offer. So a bully offer and a preemptive offer essentially mean the same thing that you're preemptively offering before the offer date, or you are bullying your way into offer before the offer date. Now, one of the misnomers here to a lot of um, buyers, even seasoned buyers, is that a bully offer or preemptive offer does not represent the first offer. It really means that you are, as a buyer or buyer agent, willing to offer far more than the list price in order to try and take the property before the offer date where it gets full market exposure And at that point in time, anything can happen. We often at Fox Marin use the analogy to try and best describe this is imagine you're trying to get into a very busy nightclub and you see a lineup all the way around the corner and it's February and you really don't want to wait in line. And so you walk up to the doorman and you're like, listen, how much is it going to cost? I know the tickets are $15. I don't know actually where you would go yeah, for that anything. That doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> not even, <laughs> not even a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. A hundred and fifty dollars, and we're willing to pay an extra hundred dollars each so we can get in and avoid the lineup. So it's paying a premium to not have to wait in line to get the result that you want immediately. And so really the best way that we can describe it is you're coming up with a strategy to pay a premium for the property, obviously well above the list or asking price, in order to secure the property before the date that they're taking offers on. 